All right, here we've got a comparison of the Kindle 4, the basic model, and the Kindle 3, or what is now the Kindle keyboard. Uh, the first thing you notice here is that uh, the Kindle 4 is obviously a little bit uh, shorter than the Kindle 3. You see it's also a little bit narrower, which is very nice. Uh, when you hold both of them in your hands, you can tell that the Kindle 4 definitely feels lighter doesn't have quite as much heft to it. Not that the Kindle 3 is heavy, but uh, this just definitely feels uh, light. Um, you've still got the the left and or the uh, back and forward buttons on the side here. Uh, they're more on the side of the Kindle 4 um, than on the Kindle 3, where they're kind of uh, on the front of the of the device. Uh, the other big difference with the Kindle 4 is that there's no keyboard down here, obviously. Uh, you do have these buttons instead. You've got the back button right here. You've got the keyboard button. You press that and the keyboard pops up on the screen. You've got the menu button and then you've got the home button. Uh, and when you turn it on, the interface is exactly the same as the Kindle 3. Um, on the bottom here is the USB um, port and the on button. Uh, the on button on the Kindle 4, uh, you press the button. It's not a slide button like on the Kindle 3. So um, before I turn it on though, the Kindle 4 does have different um, screen savers. It doesn't have the, the standard ones that you've seen on the Kindle 3. So let's turn it on, press and hold it down until the little green light comes on. And there you go. It's the same format and everything the same, uh, uh, it looks exactly the same, it works exactly the same, and uh, that's about it. Uh, overall, I really like the Kindle 4 so far. Uh, it's smaller and does everything that the, the Kindle 3 did, but uh, it's just a little bit more compact.